Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Rex. I'm Daniel. Uh, he's a level three whiskey sommelier. He's a master mooch. And today we have a gift whiskey? Yeah, now this is what we're gonna start with, but we're gonna compare it to another gift whiskey from J.D. Campbell. J.D. Campbell, you may give us a best. All right, we're drinking Texas whiskey. Yep. And I say that because it's wild turkey, right. which most people think is made in Kentucky. So you haven't even opened it. But now that Matthew McConaughey reps it, we own it. Sure. So, it's rare breed. Wild Turkey is now a Texas whiskey, yeah. and this was a gift from Chrissy Martin. Oh. Level 3 whiskey sommelier. Chrissy Martin, level 3 whiskey sommelier, you magnificent. Bastard! <laughs> Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey, all right, all right, all right. Now we are gonna do a comparison because this is a Russell product and I've also got hiding back here as another gift. We're gonna knock out two gift whiskeys with one video. I don't know if I have that many baskets. I know, I know, we it's got a lot it. of baskets. I know, it is a lot, it is a lot. So this was a special bottling that Jimmy Russell selected and the rumor is that his favorite whiskeys are between six, ten years old, or something like that. Sweet and oaky. And this is a combination of six, eight, and twelve-year-old barrels. It's the same mash bill as, as what they usually do: seventy-five percent corn, thirteen percent rye, twelve percent barley. I really like Wild Turkey. I think they're uh, they can be underrated, not by bourbon lovers. Most bourbon lovers under uh, get it. This yeah. is much sharper and spicier on the taste than it is on the nose. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, I like that. It's a little bitey. Yeah, I like that it smelled like a simple, mm -hmm. classic bourbon, but in the sip it just sort of, bing, sparkles and dances around. Yeah. I wonder if it's uh, the proof. It's actually numbing my tongue a little bit. Well, it is 116 oh. per proof, so. Maybe that is something. What does that make it, 56% something? 56 per, yeah, son of a bitch. That's why it's dancing around on the tongue. Right. If, let's see if water just makes it super boring. Yeah, it made it more bitter. Hmm. So you actually taste the wood notes a little bit more strong. Nuclear daisies. Dear Mooch and Som, here's a Ooh, little- I like that. Here's a little Johnny Walker Blue story for you. My parents have been drinking blue pretty much exclusively for 30 oh, years. Yeah. It's the first whiskey I ever smelled and tasted. And I tasted it for the first time when I was five or six, although I didn't actually drink any until I was much older. Sure you did. <laughs> yeah. Didn't drink any. Uh, even though I drank mainly single malts now, I drink mainly single malts now, Johnny Walker Blue is one of my favorite and distinctive childhood memory smells. So having drunk this whiskey pretty much every which way, I will propose a slightly controversial suggestion for you. Try it with a couple of cubes of ice and then splash it with uh, a little bit of club soda. Okay. Al the alkaline quality of soda water and the cold help bring out those pop floral, heathery top notes and heighten the peaty finish, respectively. Uh, it's, wow. It starts to taste a little more like it smells and it actually gets a little more complex. I and really like this idea. In the end, scotch blends are always going to be less definitive on the palate in my humble, I totally agree. relatively inexperienced opinion, but I think this is one, uh, but I think with this one, it's too many good things in one blend. Uh, and some flavors need to be coaxed out. I can back that opinion all damn day. So did you pull out blue? I, no, no, I'm preparing. So, so I read this whole thing. I know. Giving you enough time. No, I realized I'd forgotten to plug in the ice machine. I had plans and I'd forgotten to turn on the ice machine. Okay, so here's the thing. We're gonna do that, we'll end it. It should only take two, three minutes for ice to be ready in there. So. We're going to compare two different Russell's products. Let's calm down, Rex. It's gonna be okay. Calm down, Rex. I guess I'll just pour this for myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, holy cow, that's a very large pour all of a sudden. Of a very high proof whiskey. <laughs> yeah, totally. Okay, so this is the Russell's 10 bourbon. Uh, only 45%. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool, because essentially what you're ge getting with Rare Breed is a barrel entry product. Now, it's not classified as a barrel entry product, but it this could be in the categories of all the other famous single barrel whiskeys. The Blantons, the Bookers, the Bakers, the right, and so on. 
Um, that could totally be entered into that category. Yeah. Well, so could, I think, uh, Russell's 10. Um, though it's a much lower proof, but I wanted to see what happens when you get more of just a 10 year old and proofed down to 45 and a barrel proof from the same guy. This is a lot of tap dancing because you forgot to make ice. No, 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 actually this wasn't the plan. That's why I had this bottle down. I wanted to actually compare these two together and I poured some for you. So that's gonna be your Russell's 10. Ooh. Man, I gotta tell you, light that light Russell's 10. Light and floral compared is, to the wild turkey. I think maybe a little better for me. This is much more rounded off. This has to be a lower proof because it, yeah, one, this is so high, but two, there's no sharp edges. There's no bite in here. Yeah, now, okay, don't get me wrong. With the rare breed, I really love the bite. I love that. Uh, but this is an adventure, and this is just Chilling. like coming home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great X3. I was about to tell my great X3 story because he came in small equal. Oh yeah, it's going to be in I'm, a... Uh... I'm glad I didn't because I was going to say very gracious things. Oh, oh, <laughs> until I put this comment in there. And now I'm reading this comment. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying gracious things. Great X3 brought some gifts. Uh, hey, the only reason I wanted Rex to show up was so I could see the look on his face when I gave him his presents. Yeah. <laughs> what was the present, Rex? I went down there for Daniel. The <laughs> <laughs> so great X3, Mitch. I'm coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch was giving me sh a couple weeks ago, and I said, come at me, bro. And then he showed Bring up it. at the whiskey glass. Bring it, bro. So he showed up and he brought it. Yeah, he did. He, brought <laughs> he did bring it. He brought a, VH copy, a VHS copy of the movie It. Yeah, <laughs> he brought It. <laughs> That's such a dad joke <laughs> gift. It is. He is my people. <laughs> he is so my people. And he gave me a couple of one, an amazingly good whiskey, mm -hmm. and the other, he knew I would hate it, so he brought it. Yeah. Still spent money, though. Yeah, we won't talk about it. Yeah, I'm still in on the that wild turkey rare breed. is maybe my favorite wild turkey line. But this Russell's 10. This is it. It's pretty fantastic. This is it. I'm loose. You got it? I got the... You got this? I'm gonna follow it and see if I can do it. I've been working on my mechanics. All right, here we go. I'm not doing any Mamby Pamby bank shot bull This is going straight in. All right. Nothing but can. Bring it in. Oh, we actually made it! It wasn't nothing but can, but... Nothing but can. You did actually make it. <laughs> what did it bounce off of? The table. The table? Yeah. I'm going for the bank shot. Nope. I didn't make it? Nope. Ah, oh, that was pretty close. Between the wall and the can. That was pretty close. You screw you. All those times I was close, <laughs> and you gave me sh No, you get nothing. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to have time probably to do the uh, Yeah, two to three minutes today. to make ice. I don't know what the hell you're talking so, about. So, uh, we'll do it on the next video. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. If you cringe, <laughs> may you cringe with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.